Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. I thought I'd pop by, as I always do when I have a new release, and show you things in a little bit more detail. I always think it's easier to see things in a video. So first of all, I'm going to show you where the products are available. So I'm, I've got eight stencils being released on Let Leone Loose. So I'm going to createandcraft.com and if you go to this little calendar icon and you then scroll to Wednesday you will see that at 11am we've got Let Leone Loose All and Create and at 3 o'clock we've got Let Leone Loose All and Create. Whichever one you click on, if you click on In This Show, you'll then see my stencil bundle there and that is already reduced for you for the stencil bundle if you don't want the stencil bundle so it gone back to where where are we now there we go if you don't want the stencil bundle there are also smaller bundles and singles available just so that you can see that so you just go to the show on the 12th of april and that will give you the release but what I like to do I always think it's a good idea personally to come and show you in a video it's been a bit of a manic rush because I've tried to create as many backgrounds as possible so that you can see exactly what you can achieve from a stencil so the stencils are all six by six inches and made from quality mylar they're absolutely wonderful quality and I've done lots of techniques in a book to show you what you can do. And I think once you see the samples, I think that's what brings them to life more than anything. Now, I'm going to get some photos up because it's just easier for me to use photos rather than scrabble for every stamp. Right, let's find this one first. Of course, when you're after a photo, it's always the last one you find. I've got them all on my iPad. Um, so let's just come on, Tracy. Where are we where are we going? I want to show you them in the packaging you see rather than just showing you my photo. There it is. Right, so this stencil, I wanted to create a stencil. I wanted to create mainly stencils that will go with my stamps, but can also be used standalone. So these are my elongated heart, which I love. And I've made them a little bit distressed, exactly like I did with the stamp set, so that they coordinate beautifully. And by stamp set, I mean this one. So it goes beautifully with these hearts, but obviously, it works standalone. It doesn't have to go with those hearts, but I wanted to show that why I've created them. So it goes with my release, just so that you understand that. And what I love about this is it's it can be used standalone and you can also stamp things inside. I like the open areas. If I bring the stencil in, you can see that it replicates the packaging perfectly. It's exactly what it is on the packaging. And these beautiful open areas, which you can stamp into, which I adore. So I shall do that in lots of projects as well. And obviously you can cut these out as well. They're nice and easy to cut out. Or you can use it as a standalone stencil. What I've done to give you ideas is I've created a workshop where we just create backgrounds. I will create some cards to show you what you can do with them. But I've created backgrounds to show you just what stencils can do. So this is the elongated heart and they're all six by six. And if I place that on black card, you can see that nice and easily. Now, I don't want to spend too much time and bore you with just going through lots of packaging because I think it's the artwork that's, that brings things to life. This is called The Wonder of Nature. It's, stamps, it's stamp set. I'm so used to saying stamp sets because I've not had stencils before. So I'm absolutely delighted to have my own range of stencils. So this is stencil 160 and it's called The Wonder of Nature. The previous stencil was 156. 
and this one also goes with a stamp set perfectly or can be used standalone and of course finding this stamp set because it was a bit ago the stamp set was that we had this one let's just see if we can find it on my ipad obviously i've got hundreds of samples as well and that's why it isn't a 30 second um, i've actually got them here what am i talking about i've got the stamp sets here so this one goes perfectly with this stamp set stamp set 541 indulging daisies so it goes perfectly with the a7 stamp set and i just adore this because I've, all, I've wanted a flower stencil for ages, one that's going to be pretty versatile and will go with all the florals, all the leaves, all the text. So I want it to, to be quite versatile. So I just love the fact that it's got different sizes. And again, it's got some open areas so you can actually doodle inside there as well. And that was important to me just in case you like um, zentangling, you can actually do that inside your stencil as well. So that is stencil 160, A Wonder of Nature. And I just think on the black card, it speaks for itself. But it's the samples for me that say everything. So I'm just going to quickly go through the stencils and then show you the artwork. The next stencil is Folium, stencil 155. And this goes, I haven't got the packaging to this, but this goes with this stamp set. And of course, I'm going to have to now find the number, aren't I? Um, come on, Tracy. Oh, there it is. That was a bit easy. So it goes with the open leaves stamp set 557. And that's an A7 stamp set. And it goes with that beautifully. However, it also goes as a standalone item. And again, you've got that ability to doodle inside if you wish. Just place that on one side. And if we bring in the actual stencil, you can see those beautiful open areas. On that black card and it just i'm so pleased with them i've not had stencils before because they take a little bit more work uh, to get things to work um so i'm really pleased with these um i'm so so delighted i know they've taken a long while but i'm so delighted that i've had i've been able to bring so many in one go so that is folium 155 we've then got i think i've just seen have i just seen that one yeah We've then got Twisting and Turning, and that goes with the Swirls stamp set, stamp set 629, and it goes with the Swirls. So it works beautifully with that. Again, beautiful open areas for you to doodle if you wish, but I love the fact that it's got those open areas because it, it allows me to also stamp inside, Lots of texture can be added, so it works beautifully. So that is stencil 157. There's eight stencils. And this is the Evergreen. And I love this one. Slightly different than the other leaf one. I, I, I adore leaves anyway. I think what I like about leaves is you can put this in the background and you can make it masculine, feminine, you know, for a teenager, anything. You can add a floral to it. You can add the stag to it. You can make it Christmassy. You can do whatever you want. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. And that's what I love about the leaves. That one is 159 and it's evergreen. And then we've got stencil 158 i'm sorry if i do keep saying stamps stencil 158 is teardrop and again you can see good open areas wonderful i'm going to be able to add texture color uh, doodling whatever i want with those beautiful open areas it's just it's going to work fantastically uh, and that's what i like they all work together again this is universal male female it can be just used standalone it can be used with flowers the stag the penguin anything you wanted and i wanted that out of the stencil so they can be used straight across the range so that is stencil 158 and then we've got 
the next stencil, which is called Oopsie for Oopsie Daisy. Because we couldn't fit Daisy on, so it's called Oopsie for Oopsie Daisy. And this has got a slightly different arrangement of florals. And again, this can be used with the whole range of my florals across the board. So I wanted that. I wanted them to be versatile. And again, this can be used standalone. It could be a funky 60s card with retro colours. You know, you can really sort of jazz it up or calm it down however you want to use it. And I just love, again, the, the fact that it has got some of those really good open areas. So, again, a lovely, easy stencil to use and versatile. I know we use that word a lot, but it really is versatile. But I think when you see my background, you'll see that. So that's called Oopsie and it's stencil 161. And now my next one, which I absolutely adore because it goes with so many of my stamp sets and can be used in so many ways. And this is Undergrowth. And this one, I've done a little bit different. I've added your birds that go with your stamps in different sizes, different sizes. But then I've added acorns and I've added leaves because the leaves you can mask off and use the leaves on their own, the acorns on their own, the birds on their own or on their own or on their own. So this gives you lots of possibilities. Again, you can doodle inside or you can stamp inside. And that's what I adore. I absolutely adore that. So this is stencil 162 and it's the undergrowth. So what I'm going to do, which is my favourite part, is bring in some artwork. Now, what I've done is I've created a workshop. It's workshop 91. I think I said 92 before. It's actually workshop 91. And it's workshop 91, delight in stencils. And this is how many backgrounds we've made in the workshop. My book is bulging. And I've added most of the backgrounds into my uh, black book. The only I've got two journal pages, I think, added to this. And that's it. One journal page, two journal pages, and the rest is the backgrounds. So these are the backgrounds that I've created with the stencils. Just so that you can see the backgrounds. Just so you can see that. So these are the backgrounds that I've created with all the stencils. And I've added them into my book so that I can either add to them little focal images or I can leave them like this and just write exactly what I've done. So if we turn over, you can see some. All these techniques with the stencils are in Workshop 91 and it's crammed with techniques and ideas for creating these backgrounds. And... You can put them direct in your journal or just do as I've done and layer them so that you can play around with them a lot more. So the workshop's £35 and it's available now and I will probably be adding a little bit more detail to it as well. But you can see the background there. And again, just this is textural. So just loving them. Again, now we've got some paper casts. So you've got some lovely detail in there. It's got some depth in there. And I'm just keeping them bits in case I want them. And again, it's got some lovely detail depth to it as well with the paper cast. Just love those. This is all in the workshop. And again, another paper cast with one of the sort of flower stencils, floral stencils. And again, I'm still going to do things to these. I may just add some silver leaf or something. But at the moment, I just love the way they look. Just keeping those bits. Then there's the daisy one here. Just tilt it so you can see. She says as I tip all that out. Just so you can see. I always think a video shows far more than anything. So that's the daisy one saving those bits just in case I want them and I'm lifting it up just so you can see some of the detail again nice beautiful backgrounds with the the floral one let's just bring that in so you can see that and then I've got the hearts one let me just lift that up again so you can see the detail in the hearts 
so you can see that. And again, the hearts. Just love those. But obviously it gives you the opportunity to doodle or just leave it like that and add one of the heart focal images. Then more backgrounds using the different floral. Just so that you can see that. I think if I tilt it, you can just see the detail in those. One of my favourite backgrounds is this one. Absolutely adore that. Just adore that background. Just love it. And this one also. Again, very textural. Just so you can see that. Just adore that. My book's so heavy. My next background is more subtle, showing you just if you want to do a very basic background. Very, very subtle. Just, just to show that you don't have to just have bright colours. Again, another beautiful background. And again, another one of my favourites. Just showing you if you wanted to do some simple ideas in the flowers just so that you can see them but I think it's the samples that really bring things to life another one that's the beautiful swirls one well, it's not called swirls it's twisting and turning the swirls is the stamp but just look at that absolutely adore it and then you've got this one I've honestly been doing this for hours. Again, another background for you. And a further background with just parts of the image. That's the next background. These are sort of, you know, created from the previous one. But just so you can see, your backgrounds can be, you know, sort of crisp and clean, mixed media-ish. But just so you can see all the backgrounds, I've just adored doing them. Let me just show you this one. Just so you can see those backgrounds. Just so you can see them. Just love how they've all turned out. So you can see those backgrounds just trying to lift it up so it picks up some of that detail for you let's lift up the teardrop so that you get some of that detail and it's just there's so many options with stencils but I think when you see them like that you see the whole detail so in the workshop you create all these backgrounds and let me show you what we have left from the workshop. Oh. We've also got all these pieces left, including the book that we've done. Also other backgrounds and other backgrounds, just so that you can see. But we create so many backgrounds in the workshop, absolutely loads of them absolutely loads so there's all those left and also you've got enough left from your backgrounds to create a little book from your stencils as well just so you can see you can create a little book which is also in the workshop so you can see that so you've also got the little bit we create in there and obviously I may add more detail as well so those are my eight stencils I didn't want to do a long-winded video that was too too long because I like you know sort of sort of make the point but not to go on and on also just a couple of backgrounds drying 
you can see a couple of backgrounds drying here that are not finished. That's one. And I'll just get one more. Just a couple of backgrounds drying that are not quite finished. But just so that you know, the workshop's absolutely crammed with detail. I'm absolutely, I'm chuffed to bits, I think the word is, with the stencils. I'm, I'm so proud of them. I absolutely love them. So I hope you love them as much as I do. I'd like to say a huge thank you to those of you that have already purchased. I've had a few message, messages to say that some of you have purchased, so I really appreciate that. So thank you very much. And thank you for your continued support with your lovely comments and your support. Just, you know, stopping by and giving me some support of the products. So love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.